Hiya folks, Steve here for Modgician, making Minecraft modding as easy as possible. And today we're running through the tutorial on how to install Mod Loader. So, starting from the Modgician homepage, we click on Mod Selector and go down to Core, as this is a Core mod. This takes us to the Core mod screen. We scroll down to find Mod Loader and click on that heading there. And this takes us to the front page, where we can see the creator's credits and their description and all that sort of stuff. We want to scroll down a bit and go to the Dependent On and Conflicts With section. This one's written pretty well, so we don't have anything to worry about there. So we'll scroll straight back up and go to the Download and Installation tab. Now the first thing we see here is three warnings right up the top, two of which we have to worry about immediately. First, we have to make sure you are not running Minecraft when installing this mod. And secondly, this tutorial assumes you've followed all the instructions in the toolkit section of this website. If you haven't done that yet, you want to go and do that first. But if you have, then we will move on. Now, the first thing, of course, is to download the mod itself. Now, you have to make sure that you're downloading the right version of the mod for the version of Minecraft that you're using. I currently have Minecraft 1.2.4, so we're going to click on that link there. Now that will take us straight to an AdFly page, and this is fairly simple to manage. We just have to wait till this counter in the top right has counted down to zero, and then we can click on Skip Ad, and it will start the download for us. Now, I've got mine set to ask me where I want to save it. If you don't, it'll go straight into your Downloads folder, but we actually want it to go to your desktop, and then into your mod downloads. Then we click on the right version for your version of Minecraft again. I've got 1.2.4, so I'll click on that one, and we'll click Save, and it will go right in there. So, now we want to shrink this little page and go back to your desktop, and click on the mod downloads folder, go to 1.2.4, find the zip we just downloaded, and we want to right click on it, select 7-zip, and then open archive. And there we go, we'll just leave that on the right there. And then we can uh, get rid of that folder there and go to your .minecraft shortcut, which you set up in the toolkit section. Then we're going to look for bin, it should be right up the top, and then we'll scroll down until we find minecraft.jar. Then we want to do exactly what we did with the file we just downloaded. So right click, 7-zip, open archive. Okay, there it is there, so we'll click and drag that on to the left. So, on the right here, we've got the file we just downloaded, and on the left, we've got the openminecraft.jar. You want to click and drag to select everything in this right window, and take it over to the left window. When it asks if you want to copy it, just click yes, there it goes over there. Wonderful. So we can shut down this window on the right now, and as it says on the website, the penultimate stage of the installation is to check to see if there's a yellow folder called meta-inf. It might not be there, and as we can see in this one, it's not, but if it is, you want to delete it immediately. Okay, so now that we've seen that's not there, we can shut that down and go to the last stage, which is, of course, to load Minecraft itself. Okay, there we go, there's Minecraft, so we'll just log in here. Now, basically, you can see that as soon as it gets to the Mojang splash screen here, you know everything's probably working okay, but it's still worth going in to check. So we'll load up a uh, pre-created world, and there we go, everything seems to be working fine in my wonderful little uh, world here. So that's it. Assuming you followed all the instructions in this tutorial properly, you now have a copy of Mod Loader working for your version of Minecraft. We hope you found this video somewhat useful. Feel free to come back to Modgician.com anytime you want more mods for Minecraft. And until then, good luck and good gaming. <laughs>